Well, hey guys, it is that time again, time for a Blue Screen Talk show. We have a few things today. Mainly, uh, uh, we're talking about tablets, and no, I am not talking about Android tablets. I am not talking about Apple tablets. I am talking about Windows tablets. Prefer not preferably. Well, you may prefer it if you're an actual power user. Depends on what power user you are actually. Um if you if you like to draw and you like the versatility of a laptop, you will like and let me see if I can bring this up here. You will like Microsoft's PowerBook or <laughs> PowerBook, yeah, right. Uh, Surface Book it was just released. Uh, I don't know. I think last week or something like that. Not not too long ago, really. And they they released in conjunction with Surface. Um, Pro 4 which is um, obviously a uh, build from what they've done from uh, Surface, Surface Pro 3 uh, last year where they they really really fine tuned the pin and the uh, uh, screen interface and how how it was um so sensitive this and the uh, surface uh, pro 4 now has a uh, they they have brought back the um eraser like they had in the original surface and surface pro and surface 2 and surface pro 2 so they brought this brought the eraser back good um they also uh because in surface pro 3 you they kind of they kind of cheapened it on the original surface and surface 2 you could uh, magnetically dock it where you would um actually charge it if i had a camera extra camera I would show you but I don't not near me not to any way um so you could actually attach it there dock it whatever take it with you as magnetically attached well they brought that back yay um I I I um, aesthetically um, and professionally, I felt that Microsoft had actually um, skimped. I mean, don't get me wrong, Surface Pro 3 was and still is an amazing machine. Um, I just felt that uh, by them not allowing you to um, um, attach the stylus to the device via a magnet and they just kind of gave you a drawstring type deal and expected you to I don't know what they expected you to do you know be a nerd have a pocket right here and go I know I did um but that was the nerd thing to do uh with, with the original uh with with uh the uh, new surface Pro uh, 4 and uh, the uh, Surface Book. By the way, Surface Book is the very first, first <laughs> laptop that uh, Microsoft has ever made. And this thing ri almost rivals uh, their uh, Apple's MacBook Air. I mean, it it is, it's insanely close. The footprint of this thing is 
it, it's actually nice. It reminds me of the older laptops where, you know, you got the actual square, you know, you get like 13 inches and it was 13 inches. I don't know if any of you remember them days before they went to the widescreen format and you went, well, that's cool, but I'm trying to read this document and I have to scroll up. Why? Th this thing actually actually does it. Uh, the price varies dramatically. Uh, it starts at... I, just, I was looking at it. Oh, there it is. There it is. It is uh, the map book. Or map book. I'm gone. Yeah. Boom! Ah, I love this. Um... So it's almost uh, we'll we'll say we'll say 1900, Pro probably probably more 195 after you get out out of the box. Um, so you get this. Um, it's it's actually interesting though. Uh, let's let's go back up. I love X Play for this reason. Alright, let, let's have a look at this. Okay, I don't know. Alright, uh, the, the thing I'm not crazy about, um, which, I mean, it's laptop, it's also a tablet, so you got, uh, let me, this thing right here that, uh, it actually detaches. This right here is your complete hinge so like it actually now uh, let's pull you up it does that uh, number one it actually has a function other than being completely aesthetically pleasing I mean like I looked at that I'm like I went no you gotta be kidding me right no um they've actually well thought this out let's go back to uh this here nope that's not it let's go back to there we go okay uh oops wrong way there we go okay i like this this is fun i haven't done one of these in a while guys so yeah nerd in element <laughs> so anyway that that I'm pointing like you guys can actually see where I'm pointing on my screen let me use my actual mouse here okay so this whole deal right here is where the guts live okay you have your uh, you actually have uh, two batteries which is kind of nice. I, I'd actually like to go to Best Buy and get one just to eh, play with it. But I can't right now. I want to so badly. I'll just get the cheap model. I promise. Okay. Anyway, I'll try not to rant so much. I promise. Okay. So, you got this thing right here that contains almost all your guts, okay? This right here, th this is well made. I, I mean, like, rem think of the, um, yeah, it it's made just like a regular laptop. Um, I mean, it's got really, from what I understand, I... I, I gotta go play with this thing. Um, and when I do, you guys will go with me. Um, excuse me. So, anyway, from what I've read, this thing is... Th this um, trap pad is amazingly responsive versus your... Um, let, let me see if I can be a smarty here. For, hang on, can I do it? 
No, not really. Can't really see it. Alright, anyway, I was going to show you my crap pad, but you know what? It might be easier just to, yeah. <clears throat> the trap pad on the original Surface and Surface Pro 2 kind of sucked. Um, it, it got you where you needed to go. Um, uh, there were flaws. Um, even when I've upgraded this thing to 10, it didn't solve the issue like uh, I'm left-handed. Okay, so, you know, it's easier for me to have click over here than over here. Because left-handed, it's easier for me to sprawl my hand out, right? This thing, um, the uh, left and the right click, like, there, there's about that much for over here. About that much for, yeah, the other side. Which, eh, uh, these guys seem to have actually fixed that issue. I, I believe they even did that in, uh, uh, Surface Pro 3 as well. Uh, let me see what, a, oh, gave me that, yeah. The base on this, the keyboard base, is, uh, what actually contains a secondary battery which extends your life dramatically like the uh, the uh, in the tablet itself you only get about three hours worth of life which uh, <laughs> I don't like that why um, and also, as far as, um, uh, um, expansion goes, it, it's all down in this dock, right here. Okay, um, and then, uh, flip, yeah. somewhere over in, uh, this top, hang on, uh, yeah, there we go, somewhere in this, uh, top group of, buttons this second one I believe yeah second one in it on the top row is actually to detach the thing so what what they're doing is um it because it actually uh, you can actually get a base that um, has a integrated GPU which, uh, when you, uh, um, obviously, when you plug the, the top screen into the thing, it interfaces, and if there's a, uh, something you're doing with a G that uh, requires a GPU, like, say, gaming, video editing, just about anything that requires a GPU, um, I'm making a game. <laughs> anyway, if uh, it is in the middle of uh, using it and you hit the button, it will um, see if it can let it go. Like the, this whole this this whole thing that. Ah, there goes my mouse. Really? Really? Like I said, trackpad on this, the original one. Mm, not that good. Okay, uh, let's see if I can do it by hand. Maybe. Okay. That. Yeah, so where that little screen or blip or whatever. There we go. So this thing right here is actually, um, has magnetic, um, uh, got, or magnetic guides and whatever that when you go and, uh, 
attach it to the dock, you know, it just like uh, the surface has been since it came out, you have magnetic guides and, the, you know, and you have it like that, or actually it's more like that, but anyway, uh, they, then they're connected and whatever, but instead of um, just being able to detach, like how we have been uh, with uh, the previous generation of surfaces, uh, this actually has a mechanism that actually clamps into it when it detects that you plug this thing in. And that's, um, that is uh, related to the battery and uh, the GPU uh, that's in the uh, dock. And I imagine there's other reasons too, but those are the two main reasons that I can see that they would do that. The GPU mainly, because uh, um, from, and I already figured this out, <laughs> I mean, it'd be like me pulling out my graphics card during a game or, <laughs> you know, just all sorts of wrongness happening um you know errors popping up all over er, er, er. yes i know you're broke have fun just calm down just calm down it will be okay um so anyway th this is to uh, prevent all sorts of mayhem from happening um then you have, let's go, then, then you have this really, really beautiful screen. Um, the, I don't know, they made it uh, 13 point something inches now, uh, which, why not? Uh, they, they say when you detach it, that it's uh, about the uh, same uh, weight as the original iPad, which, hey, oh, 13.5, my bad. Hey, you guys can see too. Read along. Ah! Um, okay, so, uh, and there, there's a, an actual reason why I'm scrolling down, not just because I'm losing it. No, I'm kidding. Actually, I want to show you guys uh, what what they're uh, what they're doing here, because because they are um, where where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There, my bad. Yeah. So so uh, you can go. Yeah. See, this is what I want to show you is as you get. Um, better stuff per se the more you're uh, gonna pay so you got this if you even if you even get a bigger hard drive <laughs> if you get a bigger hard drive with a or keep the bigger hard drive with the GPU you're gonna pay that if you get get that with the iCore 7 you're gonna pay two grand over two grand I, I mean that from what what I've seen and from what I've read from other reviews and whatever this thing is not made to be upgraded uh, so get what you want get what you can afford that that is actually my recommendation if you're if you're not if you just like having cool toys and things like that you know and you're like dude i just surf the internet get the base model you know if you it, well uh, okay get the base model if that's all you do if you do something like play civ 5 or something like that mm, yeah, I I would say, hang on, 
that that beeping is my console on. There we go. Turn that off. So, oh, uh, so if you're gonna do something like Civ Five, get the GP. I mean, because it will not play it probably as well. They, um, like I know on my surface that I've got. Surprisingly, I can play. I can play almost anything I want. I feel very little lag. Uh, if this thing had a built-in GPU, it would be insane. I actually, I I really do. I honestly do. I miss. I miss my behemoth, my Asus gaming laptop i core 7 8 core 2 gig gpu nvidia it i mean it, it uh, you know two hard drives you could braid it uh, a real a real gaming laptop i'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, if if you guys are um, if you guys are doing video editing though or uh, a lot of gaming but you're doing you're you're back and forth between gaming school work maybe you're like an architect or something like that I don't know you know uh, I'd almost say that you would be better off to pay a, oops pay a little bit more get this get get that um right there i mean if you really like video editing and stuff like that get the one terabyte but there again you're paying over three grand for that i mean dang right okay So, so we got this. About the same time, this got released. Surface Pro 4. Dude, last year about this time they released the Surface Pro 3. <sighs> Look at the processor they put in this thing. It's an Intel Core N3. Why? Well, uh, actually, I know why. It's smart. Because you, you can get performance of some type and not have um, the battery suckage that you could, that you would normally get. Um, with this, uh, and and the price i mean 900 bucks for this thing 12.3 inch display like the surface pro 3 uh was uh i i like the fact that they they have a little bit of a better processor i'm i'm grateful that they didn't throw an atom processor in any anyone from the netbook or who remembers the netbooks. They were a good idea. They just had no. They had no performance. And I mean that that's really why I feel this would be. Um, an equivalent to almost. I, I hope I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I hear that the uh, M3 is better than the atom processor all right let's spin this thing around see what we got all right so we've got the this oh oh and before i do that i need to go back oh shoot there sorry double tap so um, i go back here i forgot one thing when i say Everything is 
in that dock for the Mac or MacBook. <laughs> Surface Buck. I mean everything. Okay. We got two USB 3.0s. We've got uh we got um uh, uh what is it? <sighs> yeah. It uh for uh, SD cards. They do stick out a little bit, so yeah, if you go somewhere, I'd recommend taking it out. Uh, and on this side, we have charging port and your miniature, or your, ah, mini video out right here. That is, from what I hear, capable of putting out 4K video. So, yeah. That's a thing, apparently. And then, you know, obviously you're venting all the way around. Uh, your venting is even, it, like, the for the GPU built into the base, has venting. Um, okay, now I can go to the Surface Pro 4. I just get excited, and, yeah. I know you guys are going, no, quit talking, please. Sorry, it's what I do. Okay, so back to Surface Pro 4. Okay, so let's take a walk around this thing. Okay, uh, mini miniature video out or whatever it is, because, yeah, um, little display port still from what I understand should be able to put out 4k I don't know if that's true or not one USB 3.0 and your charging port right here and your pin your your the pin is the same yeah should be the same as uh, the surface book I, and uh, we still got your uh, camera on back that's, I think, a 5 megapixel or something like that. Your front, that's the same. And that, that also it goes for the Surface Book Pro. Uh, the, there again, uh, venting. Uh, technology like what we seen on Surface Pro 3 and uh, obviously your uh, power button and your um, your uh, volume rockers uh, same as uh, Surface Book the only thing is too bad you can't plug a Surface book into or surface pro or surface yeah surface pro into a surface book stand but semantics uh you got your kickstand still still does all the good stuff that uh surface pro 3 brought us all right let's have a see uh, this is just it laying down. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Okay. And no, I don't let me do that. With this keyboard, there we go. Keyboard. Uh, it props up like uh, same way that we've seen uh, the uh, uh, Surface Pro 3. Um, I I personally like that because. I mean, it does make it sturdier and all that versus my surf original surface. Yeah, I'm if I'm gonna be doing a lot of typing and things like that, I just soon plug in a um, USB keyboard. All right, let's take a look at this real quick. See, see, yep. See, I really, really like that. It gives you the easel feel. You can do whatever, you know, if you're 
drawing or video like on this thing I I'm, I do all the stuff on surface on uh, my original surface you know it's a, f uh, a five year old machine no three year three or four year old machine something like that anyway um so you know i i literally can compare this to the uh the original <laughs> so much better um but, uh, what they've done it, with the uh, pin though is impressive they've given you a rubber tip uh so and uh and a rubber nub for the eraser um and also they they've also uh kept, um given you a, a feature that uh we kind of seen on surface pro 3 where you know you click the pin and it would it would bring up one note and things like that this actually has a function that allows you to uh, uh, bring up Cortana to do a voice search which I find equally as handy I'm, I'm still trying to get Cortana to work on on here or she works just not the way I'd like her to work okay so let's go look at some prices here guys okay base model of this thing is uh is 900 i'd imagine 95 out the door i'm just depending on where you live taxes and all that and i'm assuming there's extra that you get too um remember this base model four gigs of ram Re I will remind you though that it's all solid state so so everything is moving so much quicker because you don't have that mechanical drive um and it's so weird to say you know to think that you know a few years ago mechanical drives were you know were king still and now it's like SSD. Mm, love it. Um, okay. So, you or you can move up in the world and get yourself an i5, pay a grand. Uh, you'll obviously see a performance increase. But, you know... These things are not made to be upgraded. Like, they're, like, once you buy, buy it, I, like I said before with Surface Book, buy what you want for what you need. And, but I would recommend, I, I really can't stress enough, don't, um, don't go in the hole over this. There's cheaper alternatives. Uh, I mean, like I said, unless you're, unless, unless you just, unless you just love the surface. You know, but like if you're a gamer, dude, not for you. <laughs> just saying. Um, I, I've managed to shoehorn different games into this the one I've got now if I could shove a NVIDIA graphics card in this thing it would make my life better <laughs> but I can't <laughs> it makes me sad okay um so uh the the other thing is too is that um for your uh, people who do gaming and video editing and stuff like that, the smaller SSDs will not get you anywhere. Um, there again, if you're if you're doing that kind of stuff, I would say get yourself an i i7. 
uh, with at least eight gig. You know, uh, I mean, I'm I'm actually sad uh, that you cannot get this in uh, the uh, 512. Uh, I I believe that they really should have allowed people to get the 512 to the 1T. Um, primarily because not everybody wants a laptop. I you know I I'm out and about. That's why I got this. I I actually bought the one I've got now. Uh, originally to learn, no, number one because it was cool. Uh, number two, Windows 8. Uh, but I, I wanted to get the full experience of Windows 8 and things like that. Um, being in IT and stuff like that, I felt that uh, it was something I uh, really should uh, invest in to learn the technology and things like that. Um, and and it did. It, it it's been a very very amazing machine for a quite a few years now. Um, this right here, though, uh, you know, if if you really 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 love the Surface Pro, I'd say I would say get get the biggest bang for your buck uh, and that that would be that um, I will say that um, that your uh, keyboard to, and uh, your stylus I I believe I could be wrong with this but uh, normally in the past unless you get get a certain uh, package or whatever everything is kind of sold separate so that raises your um, your price uh, that that's something to uh, consider however uh, unless they change the interface from surface pro 3 you actually can uh, pick up a a, a surface keyboard the original uh, and plop it on there uh, it's smaller it doesn't allow you to flip you know it doesn't allow you to um, let's go back up it doesn't allow you to uh, do that you know it doesn't allow you to uh, prop it up like that but you know at least you'd have a keyboard um, so, yeah. Now, this is cool. This is really, really cool. In fact, uh, uh, Surface Book actually has Microsoft's vendors uh, very pissed off. Um, be like hardware vendors pissed off because they're going, wait. You're competing with us now. We're we're buying software from you, and you're 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 throwing out, you know, technology. I mean, like like um, you know, I wonder who they got pissed off at, at just to um, start doing this. I mean that that's actually how the Xbox came to be was um. Uh, Sony was, uh, I believe it was, yeah, 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 yeah. Sony was actually uh, supposed to build something for Microsoft, or they were partnering up with Microsoft, and they backed out. Yeah, they were partnering with Microsoft to do a game system. They backed out and said, no, no, no. We're we're just gonna build our own game system. So Gates goes, I'm gonna build one and build one better. Well, you know what? Pretty much on par. I mean, we're 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 at Xbox One. They're at um, 
PlayStation 4 now, and really, I mean, tit for tat, it's actually kind of, uh, I mean, if you put it on a benchmark, yeah, you'll, you'll see that, you know, there, there's some overage, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's kind of like a car with, with, uh, different gear ratio, you know, and, uh, it, they're, they're so close in, um, in almost everything now that, you know, yeah, but that, that was, that was, uh, Gates' goal, was to actually build something better than, uh, Sony, because he was pissed off at it. Ah, love screwdrivers. Alright, so... Oh yeah, I got one more thing for you guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. This bad boy. The Sony Canvas. Oh, man. You, you know... I remember the days, the days when Sony came out with the bio. It was, it was a sleek, beautiful machine, and it just did everything. I mean, it had, it had integrated graphics, or not graphics, uh, sound card and things like that you could play all sorts of games, and, I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And a, a beautiful piece of technology that you paid for dearly. <laughs> this machine is no different. Alright, this... And I am actually surprised that this is in Microsoft Store, but it is. Alright, so what we got? We this, this thing, just starting, starting, okay, not, not ending, but starting, is over $2,000. Okay, let that sink in. Over $2,000. Why is it $2,000? Well, starting out the gate, it has an i7 built in. Like, out the gate, base model, i7. Okay. Surface 4 Pro. Base model, M. Three. Yeah, I I mean don't get me wrong. It it's a good idea for uh, price to um ha let the uh, have a economical model. This machine is for the real um, real people who want to get some real work done. If you um. If you're not a fan of Mac, um, then you will like this, because it is, it is more on par with MacBook Air, almost. Uh, and I say that because if you go all the way down here, I'm ending at, uh, over three grand, you will get an, a, uh, iCore 7, it's got a 4770HQ uh, four processor. That's crazy! I love it. <laughs> but I'm a technology guy. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD. Windows Pro. 
12.3 inch. This, this thing, this thing is a video editing machine in your hands. And it can be converted into a laptop. Also has a stylus. Almost, almost on par with uh, the Surface Book or Surface Pro. I mean, uh, not not the original model, but the later models like the Surface Pro Three. All right, let's see. But yeah, there, uh, there you can see see it uh, um, broke down into its parts and things like that. You got your stylus here. The main thing here, the main event, <laughs> and this. Uh, from what I have heard, it is um, a sturdy keyboard. Uh, Nice, a nice uh, mouse and things such as that. And, I mean, it very, very nice polished aluminum. And look at that kickstand. I mean, that that is actually kind of cool. That, that is, um, that is actually really cool. Because... Because, uh, um, you know, it, it does what I would would have expected the Surface to have done in the first generation. Which was to go down like this. Versus how, how I, the kickstand kind of flips out. Anyway, I, I, ju I just think that's a cool design of, of uh, that. And you have a heck a lot more peripherals on this thing. Let, let's have a seat, guys. Alright, this... Uh, I can't tell. Well, we got an HDMI. We got a video out. We have a SD card. Two... Uh, USB 3.0s, and I'm wanting to say that this right here is probably a internal uh, networking card. I could be wrong because I don't have a um, spec thing. Let's go see a spec thing. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, no optical drive, that, that's fine. Media, SD card reader, integrated audio, ooh, look at this, uh, Intel Iris Pro Graphics 5200 with shared graphic memory, but if you get 16 gigs, eh, it's alright to share. Um, So we got um, two, like I said, yeah, it is a uh, internal uh, LAN, which, which is, I mean, but it's Sony. Come on, Sony is known for taking things and attaching it or putting it in things that you don't normally find. It's nice. It really is. Look at this. They even put a Bluetooth in this thing. I mean, it's kind of standard nowadays, I know. But like me, I'd go, ooh, Bluetooth. And my doggie's here. And uh, flip this camera. It's a uh, 8 megapixel rear HD and um, the front camera. Or, I'm sorry, I'm reading that wrong. Um, 8 megapixel rear camera, an HD camera uh, in the front. But the weight of this thing is incredible. 
the weight the weight is um, 2.5 2, uh, 2.65 uh, pounds I mean come on and three when it's got the keyboard on it three and a half almost we'll say But, I mean, if, quite frankly, if I were to spend that crazy amount of money, I'd almost be tempted to spend it on this one. I mean, for three grand, you're giving me 16 megs of, gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, and uh, you're, you're giving me an i7, a very very nice i7 for over over three gram probably probably be about three probably three three out the door I'm I'm ballparking it but you know tax rates and whatever but I mean look at the ports you get with this I mean I would do this over over getting a surface over getting another surface but that that's my take on it uh, like me I, I, I like I like peripherals I'm you know I use this to uh, do uh, networking and stuff like that configuration and uh, uh, it, obviously videos too you know so this would be great because I actually have a MacBook that I use uh, to do my video editing uh, on but it'd be nice to have a machine that could just do it I don't know And I, I like, I, I real I'm, like I said, Sony has always impressed me with the amount of stuff they put into uh, their uh, machines. Now, I think that is all I've got for you. Um, that was me trying to... Um, Put as much information as I could uh, in not a whole lot of time. I don't really know if I succeeded in either one, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Guys, I thank you for watching. Uh, you know, if you if you like me, you know, do this. If you don't, do this. It might do. Wait, there we go, do that, uh, comment, subscribe, you know, lob paintballs at me, uh, something, you know. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you later, well, maybe I won't, you, you'll see me.